What is up guys, this is the Brick Duo here, B Bricks, and we are going to be talking about LEGO Mario and what went wrong with this new theme, the sets that are coming out all this year, um, and just sort of our opinions on that. So I'm going to go ahead and start off just by saying I'm not a huge fan of the whole app system um, with all the instructions being online and then basically it being a place that almost exclusively for that purpose uh, like I said in our other reveal of the uh, more pictures a lot of the sets don't have really any displayability besides their play function with the barcode scanner with the electronic Mario figure and it yeah, just just not really a theme for me and I think many people are sort of feeling this after you know a few a, a few weeks of really having a time with the set as reviews are coming out and whatnot so I know when I first uh, saw what the Lego Mario was going to be with the electronic, you know, apps and then using the barcodes to be able to score. I was a little bit skeptical, but, you know, I wasn't sure. I thought maybe, you know, maybe it could be fun for, for kids. Um, obviously, it's not um, an adult um, toy anyway, right. so it wasn't like I was that surprised or anything like that. But like we were saying, I, I saw some reviews on it, and I just, I just wasn't that Im impressed by it. It was kind of cool that I was able to recognize, you know, what it was landing on very well. I thought that part was good, but the actual game of it just seemed kind of boring. And especially if you only have the starter set, I feel like it's one of those things where you like, you need like, I, I know it's the purpose, but you'd have to spend like hundreds of dollars to really have like a fun interactive game. I feel like if you just had the starter set, you, you'd get bored really quick. Yeah, that's sort of the issue with all these, these sort of Lego themes that try to incorporate apps and really get into sort of the video game market and people kind of forget that it's toy first you know what I mean it's not Skylanders where figures were accompanying the main game Lego is a toy uh, firsthand and I just don't think I don't, I don't even think kids are really looking for this type of interactive experience maybe it'll get the parents to buy it you know they might get talked into it or whatnot but I think from a kid's perspective if they're going to want to play Video games, you're going to play video games or, or play on their, their apps on their, their iPads and whatnot. And if they want to build toys, they're going to build toys. I just think that crossover, Lego has really tried this many times, and I think they've really missed the mark. And, I mean, right, e even with the, the Droid Booster box yeah. thing this year, that seemed like it was kind of a fail. Even though that, that I think that one might be a little bit more entertaining for me, at least, than the Lego Mario. But but some something else I noticed was that, I mean, even if this was an interactive toy... I think if the the sets kind of when you connect it together, it, if it really looked like a Mario level, or it looked like it was cool sitting on a shelf with without the interactive feature, I think I would still be pretty interested in it. Like, I would like the idea of it, but that's not really what I'm seeing. And the IP for Mario used to be with Connects, and something really cool did they did was that you know they didn't do any interactive app, um, you know, electronics. Theirs was this this Mario Kart. And you would buy separate sets, and then you could put them together, and you could just make a giant Mario Kart track. And I thought that was an awesome idea. Like, if you just get the small one, it can still be like a circuit, but the more you attach, it could just keep running around this giant track all the way around your room. And there's some really awesome videos on YouTube of it. And I kind of hope that's the direction that, that LEGO goes, you know. You know, I think sometimes they forget that the real play of LEGO is kind of that imaginative feature. And if they just had sets that looked like levels that you could connect to make bigger levels with regular minifigures or something like that, I think it would have hit home a little better. Yeah, and, and so sort of transitioning to where I hope to see them sort of transition and where I hope to see maybe next year for LEGO Mario. And, I mean, personally, I'm not even a huge fan of electronic experience, so if they just completely got rid of that and did minifigure sets, I'd be perfectly happy with that. But assuming they're going to try and keep this for the most part, assuming, you know, Obviously, there's been a lot of research going into this, you know, a lot of development, so they're probably going to be keeping this around for at least a good year. I'm expecting more sets in 2021. So how do I want to see this change a little bit? Like like Kbrick said, I want to see more replicas of maybe certain levels, certain iconic scenes in in uh, in Mario, and just more figures, more mini fig more, more mini figures, not necessarily the big figures with different outfits coming out and accessories. I feel like they're kind of going towards that right now and seeing how that does. And I, yeah, I just, I hope not to really see a lot of more of those bigger figures and, and mostly maybe just get back down to minifigure scale and really hit home with the imaginative play of Lego.
And some people might think that they just want some uh, direct-to-consumer big like Bowser's Castle or some display piece. And yeah, I think that would be cool. But I also very much understand that Mario doesn't really work great with that. And that just kind of caters to a small part of the audience. And even though that's cool, like, even though that's interesting to me, I know for a lot of people it probably wouldn't sell super well. So like I said, I'm, I'm okay with the, the play features and things like that. I just hope they, they release something similar to this, like it's levels. But like I said before, that it's mini fig scale and maybe has a little bit more detail too. A lot of these uh, interactive sets just have larger pieces in them. And it's not a ton of pieces, but it does get the point across though in this interactive system still. Yeah, we'll have to see how Lego responds to some of these criticisms um, with this first line here, first wave. And see how they really pivot to, to some newer sets in the coming years. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed our thoughts. This is Brick Duo signing out. Yeah.